Good morning. 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 Okay, so I'm doing another show because I had like crazy thoughts going through my head. And I feel like what better way to get them out than to like do it on video. Right. Okay, did I ever tell y'all the stories about when I was little and I like to hear myself taped on the radio? And of course it's another way for me to tell you how I feel in love with Howard Stern. Not that I'm a hoe or a thought. Does he like hoes and thoughts? But no. I just liked it because it was a radio show. And then he was able to voice his fucking opinion the way that he fucking wanted to. Anyway, so I was thinking with all this time, I should be like trying to run off with a musician. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, what the fuck am I doing? And, you know, but I got responsibilities and it would not be a life. If I don't have a dog and a kid, it's just like, it just wouldn't be fucking, what the fuck would it be worth if I don't have a dog and a kid? Because that's what adds to the adventure. All the shit I do by myself is fucking boring. But the dog and the kid add like so much more to it. Like they add the spice, they add the sugar, they add the lime and the seasoning, they add all that. So it's like, oh my God. To miss them, it's, I miss them, y'all. I miss both of them. I miss getting food for the dog. I miss loving on the kid and being mean to him. And playing soccer in the middle of the house and running around and trying to figure out where to kiss him at and all the different stuff. Because he won't let me kiss him no more. We can't take pictures no more. And it's just the, the craft of trying to figure it out. Like trying to figure out how do I get a picture of them and all this different stuff. So anyway, so I'm so happy that I decided to have a child. Even after the letter, the letter and me saying I didn't want to have kids, I'm so happy that I decided to give birth to a little boy that is, that baked in the oven, even though I was seen to be an elderly mother. I am never going to get over that fact that I was a geriatric pregnancy <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> I cannot get over that for the rest of my life like that is the cut that just like takes it to a whole nother fucking level geriatric pregnancy I hope this is on um, Amazon please be on Amazon cool water I love this water it's like one of my favorites it used to be pre life and Fuji but now it's like this has moved to my new favorite and the bottle top is like a fucking nipple look all the shit that you miss in your life, this is what it comes down to. It's a bottle that is shaped like the thing that nurtured you when you were first born. So it looks like a fucking nipple, and it it feels like one too. A whole nipple. So every time you drink it, it's like you sucking on a titty. <laughs> it's like, so why do I always have to have the science of everything? But that is why it is so conveniently good, because you sucking on a titty. It's soothing. You know, you don't have to twist your shirt or do anything like that. You just suck it. And it's okay. You know, nobody knows that you have uh, nurture issues or whatever they call it. I don't know what you call it when you have to, like, have something to rub on when you drink or it's self-soothing. That's what it is. It's actually self-soothing. So, don't just buy the cold water because it's cold. You buy it for the nipple tip that makes it self-soothing. And, I mean, you may not believe me if you don't want to, but I'm telling you, when you put it on your lips, you'll be like, damn, this is a good-ass idea. You know what I'm saying? I like, this is a good-ass idea because it's self-soothing. You don't even know why it's a good-ass. That's why it's a good-ass idea because it's self-soothing. Okay, yeah, so, anyway, I was thinking, shit, I need to just get the fuck away. And I can't because I got responsibilities and people with responsibilities and duties in life don't do that. They don't just pick up and run. And I'm not a runner. That's why my ass sit low. That's that's a joke. But yeah. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, I'm not a runner. It's like, 
I'm a I'm a person that like likes responsibility because it makes a difference in life. Why do all the houses in this area slope down this way? Like they actually go downhill. Like all the houses, like even when we were looking at houses, all the houses got like a slope in the middle or something like that. Like they actually go the way that the house sits on the hill. So our house sits on a hill and it goes up. So our house is on uphill. Everything in the house slopes down like this. Like furniture, tables, chairs. Like I thought something was really wrong with the chairs and it's like actually the chairs are like spreading out to like make itself even and it's like fucking up the chair because the leg will start to go like kind of clockwise or whatever. It's almost like if you were slew footed. It's like we have a slew foot in our house. So like every chair, couch, whatever, it just ends up having that like outer thing happen because of the heel and how it has to gravitate itself towards it. So right now, even though I'm making this video, I'm actually sitting this way like I'm leaning this way so I have to make that up no oh, shit I just made some shit up what else was I thinking about running away I thought about Jamie Fox and his foxy ass and his foxy ass his foxy arse arse is that how you say it arse his foxy ass, foxy ass. I like that better. Foxy ass. I like it. I do. Anyway, so I thought about that too. Like you know, maybe it's time for you to do something with yourself. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna make music today. So fuck it. It's like because I still have responsibility. So responsibility will hold you back. But will hold you down. And in a way, it's not holding you back or holding you down. It's just that it's responsibility. It's a part of life. Like, whether you go for it or not, you still got the same responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like the responsibility remains there. It does not change. The responsibility is the fucking constant. So it don't matter how much you do it. The stuff you make is what's the variance. So the variance is the music. It's the art. It's the... It's the sewing, it's the, you know, the design, it's whatever. It's the creating, it's the analytical, it's the barriers, it's whatever. But the constant is always the responsibility. The responsibility does not change at all. So, I don't know what this is for me today, but it's the second show. Because all my shows have been really short. And this one is still short too, but it's just a little more information. And just seeing me crack the fuck up, because now I'm cracking the fuck up, because I totally miss my responsibility. I miss them so much. I just want to fucking cry. But anyway, it's Shantae, Brown Sugar Talk, Under Black Unicorns, telling you that go for it and keep your responsibilities, because they are what makes life happen. They are the drive, they are the motivation, they are the constant, they are the egotistical, they are whatever it is that you deem them to be. But remember, they are not a burden. They are more, they are light, love, and liberty, and justice for you and all. I know I stole that shit from America, but fuck you, America. Fuck you. But yeah, anyway, Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. Have a great day.